Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Whitney. I'm a stay-at-home mama to two toddlers and I do tons of cleaning motivation here on my channel. Today I am bringing you guys an ultimate clean with me. Every room in my house really just needed to be gone through and cleaned up. So I am going to take you guys along with me as I clean my whole house. Make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video so you can see some awesome after shots. I always love seeing these in cleaning videos. I just feel like it makes me more motivated. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's just jump into it. So I am actually going to be starting this video out in my master bedroom and I feel like I've been starting my videos out in here lately instead of the kitchen. It's a nice change of pace and I'm really loving it. So let me know how you guys are liking that. The first thing that I'm going to be doing in here is just picking up the clothes and things that are on the floor and putting them all away. My bedroom never stays clean you guys because I feel like I'm always in a hurry in the morning to get ready and out the door. So things just kind of end up all over the place. So I do have to do this pretty frequently. So now I'm just gonna go in and make my bed. And I wanted to take this time to apologize about the lighting that I have going on in this video. If you guys are new around here, I film most of my videos at nighttime because I feel like for some reason during the day, the lighting is not the best in my house. I feel like it's very shadowy. It makes each clip look too contrasty and you can't really see a whole lot of what I'm doing. I really need to invest in a good quality lighting kit, but right now that is just not in our budget and not a priority of ours. So bear with me, you guys. I promise I will get there. So for right now, we're just gonna have to deal with a little bit of bad lighting. going to go through and dust off the two nightstands and my dresser and I love to use end dust and a microfiber towel to do this it is my favorite dusting product and it just smells so good Now I'm going to be moving into the master bathroom and I'm going to start by putting away everything that you see here on the vanity. Again, I'm always in a rush so I feel like my bathroom and my bedroom just get trashed day to day so I do have to do this routine every couple of days. Once I am done putting everything away, I am just gonna go in with some Clorox wipes and wipe it down. And I'm only doing this because my vanity wasn't really that dirty. There wasn't a whole lot on it, so I just felt like wiping it down was a lot easier than getting out a towel and a spray. So that is what you guys are gonna see me doing here. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? 
up in this bathroom, I'm just gonna be cleaning the toilet. And my favorite way to do this is with Clorox wipes and then the Clorox toilet wand. I love the toilet wand and you guys will actually see in this clip that one of the pods for whatever reason broke off the little plastic part that they're attached to and I had to kind of fish it out of the toilet and I still managed to clean the toilet with it but here's a little real life for you guys. Not everything works out the way that I want it to. Now I'm just going to quickly dust both of my kids bedrooms. They were surprisingly not messy, which never happens. My son's room is always trashed. So I'm just going to quickly dust their rooms with some end dust. And now I'm gonna be moving into my kids' bathroom, which is technically the guest bathroom upstairs. And I'm gonna start by cleaning their toilet again with some Clorox wipes and the toilet wand. Once I am done with that, I am gonna finish off in the bathroom by wiping down the countertop. And I feel like I don't have to clean my kids' bathroom as much as the other two bathrooms only because nobody really uses this bathroom except for the bathtub which I clean every day after my kids take a bath I just feel like it's more efficient to do it this way and I don't have to set time out of my schedule to just clean the bathtub I feel like doing it right after they get out of the bath is just what works for me to finish off the upstairs of my house, I am just going to be running my vacuum cleaner and I have the Dyson V10 Cyclone. I get tons of questions about the vacuum cleaner that I have and I love this vacuum cleaner, you guys. It is so good. I used to have the V7 and I loved that one just as much. This one's just a little bit more powerful. moving downstairs into my kitchen and I'm gonna first start out by going through and picking up some dishes that are kind of lying around my kitchen so that way I can do some dishes you guys will see in this clip before I went in and did the dishes I opened the dishwasher and it looked clean but I could have sworn they were dirty so you will see me doing a little smell check here for whatever reason my dishwasher says it's clean when dishes are dirty and vice versa. I feel like something is not calibrated right, so I do have to do this pretty often. Don't judge me, but this is just my real life for you guys. So since I couldn't do the dishes right this moment, you're just going to see me emptying the dishwasher and then I will go back over to the kitchen sink and do some dishes. Oh, 
Once all of that is done and nice and clean, I'm just gonna finish picking up everything that might be lying on the countertops that doesn't belong there. And then I'm gonna go in with my Lysol multi-purpose spray and wipe it all down. So here you're just gonna see me going through this little white bag that was filled with Valentines from my son's school and He'd already seen them all, so don't like get upset that he didn't get to see them. But I'm just going to go through and pick all the candy and the little toys and treats and things like that off of the paper valentines, and I'm going to toss those. I don't really see the point in keeping them. I just feel like they take up space. So that is what you guys are going to see me doing here. And this one is my favorite valentine. How cute is this? such an awesome idea i might steal this next year when savannah goes to school i don't know why i just think that is so cute First met, couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when and you guys can see here in this clip that bubbles definitely won the valentine's this year i swear everybody had the same cute idea which is awesome because now my kids will have tons of bubbles to play with for the summer. Again. So now I'm gonna be moving into the living room and this is going to be the last room that I am cleaning in this video for you guys. And I'm gonna start out in here by straightening up. If you guys are new, my living room is always trashed. I mean, always trashed. There is like a rare, two minutes that my living room stays cleaned and that is usually at the end of the day and even then sometimes for whatever reason it still ends up messy but you guys are just gonna see me picking everything up off the floors and putting it all away and now i'm actually going to be dusting my tv stand and my ladder shelf Again, with end dust and a microfiber towel. This is my favorite way to dust my house. So to finish off in the living room, I am just going to be vacuuming the couch and the rug, and you will see me kind of get under the couch as well. I really need to pull my couch out and like mop under there because it's getting a little grody. So that will hopefully be in my next cleaning video for you guys, if not the one after, because I really need to get that done. this video with folding some laundry I actually had tons of laundry this day but my camera died and I didn't get to film myself doing all the laundry but I did insert this little clip here for you guys to give you guys a little bit of laundry motivation
as promised, here are those after shots for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to get some cleaning done this Saturday. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I will see you all in my next one.